All right, so this lesson talks about graphing linear inequalities in the coordinate plane. And really, that's a big, long, fancy way of saying, instead of just graphing it on a standard number line, which only has an x-axis, we're going to graph the same values on a number line that goes both ways, an xy graph or a coordinate plane. Really, there isn't much different about this lesson than what you've done before. The only difference is that we're going to show that when we are just graphing a value that only includes x, if we graph it on another plane, since we're not specifying what y could be on that plane, then all the values for y are included. What I mean by that is, if I gave you the uh, statement um, x is greater than 4, and you were just going to put it on a number line, so we have, say, 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, let's do x is greater than 2 because I put 2 near the middle. X is greater than 2. If I was going to graph that on this number line, I would just draw an open circle at 2 and shade to the right. And we've done that a couple of times now in previous lessons. Well, the only difference between doing that on a number line and doing that on an XY graph is that now we're pointing out that there are other values up here where just because X means something, we don't know what Y is. If I were to transfer this value straight to this other graph up here, I would say, well, we have 2. So we draw an open circle at 2, and I'd shade it to the right. But all I'm showing here is that x is greater than 2 and y is 0. Since we aren't specifying what y can be on this graph here, we could also graph this same line right here and be just as accurate, because we're only talking about what x can be. We could graph it down here and be just as accurate. In fact, we could graph it anywhere we wanted vertically, all the way down there as far down as we wanted to go, and all the way up as far as we wanted to go, as long as the x-coordinate of whatever point we were graphing was 2 was greater than 2, it would be on the graph of that expression. So really here what we're doing is starting at 2, leaving an open circle. In this case, we use a dashed line to show that, that open circle goes vertically. And then we shade everything to the right, because anything y wants to be, it can, as long as x is greater than 2. So let's see how that applies to a question sent in by a student. Um, Kisho here said that she needs to write the absolute value of x is less than 6 has two inequalities, and then she needs to graph x is less than 8 on an xy graph. Um, she says she thinks she can figure out the second one if I can tell her to do the first. So first, let's write x, the absolute value of x is less than 6, and then we'll graph it, and we'll leave the other one for her to graph. So if I have the absolute value of x is less than 6, then what I'm saying is that whether x is positive or negative, the value of that number can't be 6 or anything bigger. So in other words, x can't be less than negative 6, because then it would be a bigger number than 6 inside of here. And it can't be greater than regular positive 6, because then that number would be bigger than 6 in there. So we need to say x is greater than negative 6, so less negative than negative 6, but also less than positive 6. x is all the numbers in between negative 6 and positive 6 not more negative than this and not more positive than this. So if we graph that just on the x part of the axis here, we have 3, 4, 5, 6. We have an open circle at 6 here and an open circle at 6 here. So if we were just graphing that on, on a standard number line, we'd be shading these numbers in between here, right? Well now, since we're doing it on the xy graph, we also have to include all the values in both directions, up and down, that would be in that same sort of interval on that graph. So we do is draw our dashed line here, showing that that open circle continues up and down, here and here. And since x is everything in between, we shade everything in between those two dashed lines on our xy graph to show that no matter what y is, as long as x is less negative than negative 6, and less positive than positive 6, it's OK. We don't care what y is, because we didn't specify y. So hopefully, then, graphing that other one won't be too much of a difficulty for you there, Kisho. And uh, hope that helps you out.